Good morning, my name's Sam and you're watching my channel So Let's Spark with Sam and this is my Stitch Festival edition. I would suggest that you strap yourself in, make yourself a cup of tea because this is a bumper one. I was lucky enough this weekend to have two of the most fabulous days at the Stitch Festival in London, Islington. And yeah, I'm still kind of coming down from my high. Um, I was totally intending to video this, vid film this video yesterday, but to be quite honest, when I came back, I was just totally pooped. My social battery was depleted <laughs> and my actual physical battery felt pretty drained. I had no voice and yeah, so you got me today. It's Monday morning and I'm in my breakfast room. So this room is a little bit more echoey than when I normally film, so apologies for that. But the reason that we're in here is it's got the biggest table and I have got a fairly big haul to show you. So if you're interested to see what I bought, then stay with me. Um, as I said, it's going to be a bumper one because it's quite a lot. I am adjacent to my kitchen. So if you hear any kitcheny noises, I apologise. But this is my home and this is life. So the Stitch Festival, by the way, if you went and you came and you said hi, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I mean, this is the reason why I do this because, you know, I just, I love, I love people. <laughs> I love peopling and yeah, and I love sewing and it's just a real new love of mine. And the fact, and it's still like, I mean, you know, I've got the YouTube studio app. I can see that I've got numbers and I can see that the numbers go up, but whenever someone comes and says hello to me, I still get a little bit, oh yeah, some people watch me <laughs> and it takes me by surprise that people actually watch me <laughs> so thank you because honestly it and it was and I was blown away by how many people kind of knew who I was which was just really strange <laughs> um but lovely and you were all really sweet and really kind and yeah it was just yeah thank you you are superstars all of you. Um, and then of course, you know, it was just a, a lovely day because like surrounded by just beautiful fabrics and beautiful things and lovely, you know, kind of little businesses that I kind of try and support as much as I can and kind of meeting all of those people were fabulous. And then there was a big bunch of vlog. I've never seen so many vloggers in my life. <laughs> so many sewing vloggers. And again, it was like, I don't know, it was like school reunion, do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> it was like, well, okay, you know, most, most of them I do kind of chat to and kind of have a bit of a relationship with online, um, but not many I've seen, you know, in real life. Some I have and, oh, more about that later. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was just fabulous. And on the Saturday, it was literally, you couldn't, couldn't move your head without seeing a sewing vlogger. So, yeah. It was, it was really good fun. And if you get a chance to go, I would say definitely go because yeah, if you love stitching and you love fabric, then it's the place to be. <laughs> so me and my lovely friend Mandy from Make It So, we decided that we would make a bit of a weekend of it. So we were very lucky enough that we managed to get um, a hotel room in the Hilton, which is literally right next door to the design centre. So we stayed over Friday and Saturday night, which meant that we had lots of time. And also it meant that, you know, we could take bags and have you know, leave bags in our room. It just, it just made the weekend so much easier. Um, and I have to say the, the, the staff and people in the hotel were just, they were brilliant. They were so lovely and so wonderful. And they kind of made our weekend as well 
So it was really good. And it was just, it was a bit weird as well when we get up in the morning and had our breakfast and it's like, oh yeah, there's Asma from the sewing bee and there's Fove and over there's Tony. <laughs> So yeah, we had we had bees for breakfast. I mean, we you know we didn't we didn't disturb their breakfast. We just saw them at a distance. <laughs> that would have been really rude. Good morning. <laughs> but um, and and to be honest, we did. I spoke to all three of those people separately, and the rest of the, and they were all really lovely. So yeah. So I guess you want to know what I got up to and what I bought. So as I said. Me and Mandy, even though we kind of stayed together, we did kind of go our separate ways a bit on the two days um, because she was meeting a friend, the lovely Claire. Oh, and they look so gorgeous. Um, they had, they decided that in their last festival together, they'd bought fabric together, a purple, a purple corduroy. And I want to say it was from Roy's Fabrics. And if I'm wrong, I apologise. Um, but they both wore different, different dresses, same fabric, and they looked super cute going around together in their purple um and that was really nice so yeah so she had the day with Claire and then I was meeting up with the lovely Rachel the French seams because she came across from Ireland and the lovely Catherine Sober to Makery and her equally lovely mum <laughs> and um and then met up with we ended up going around with Adam as well from Adam Sews who is delightful and yeah, he's, I, I love Adam. <laughs> Just want everyone to know. I think he's lovely. I think he reminds me a lot of my boys. Um, he's older than my boys, but I just, yeah, I, I think he reminds me. He's kind of got that, that little inside kindness that I see in them, which I'm quite proud of. And yeah, he just, yeah, he's lovely. Um, and it was quite nice to go around with him as well because he's just so knowledgeable and he knows lots of people and so I felt like a little sponge, I felt like a little social sponge when I was going around so that was really cool um, and then there was a lovely Tanya for from Just Let Me Sew I'm, I'm not honestly I'm not going to mention everybody that we kind of bumped into because I will be here all day and I will probably forget someone and that will make me very sad um, I'll try and tag as many people in as I can below. But again, if I forget, you know, sincere apologies. It was, it was so many people. But yeah, so as I said, on the Friday, we were mainly kind of like hanging out as a little, little gang. Um, and um, yeah, so I had a little bit of a delay in my journey coming in. It was all fine. It was a bit stressful, but I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to talk about positive lovely things but it was a little bit stressful um so I arrived a bit later than I was planning on so Rachel had already arrived and she was kind of wandering and as I got out of the taxi there was Catherine and Catherine's mum it's almost like they just knew I was there and so they kind of scooped me up and um and we started the day so Friday I was actually really quite restrained and I didn't really buy that many things on the Friday because I knew I was staying the Saturday as well. And I did buy a few things on the Friday. I had a list, there were things on my list and there was things that I, I wanted to get. Um, but yeah, I didn't buy too many things on the Friday. On the Saturday, however, I think just the pure excitement and adrenaline and everything just defences went down and yeah all went a bit mad but no regrets not at all so I did I did have quite a healthy budget because um I had a little bit of birthday money left over I had a few other bits and pieces that money had been gifted to me that I'd put in the stitch festival pot and also I sell my wares um in a little crafty shop and I put that, the, any money that I make from that, I pop in my kind of, you know, my spends jar. And I have actually been quite successful this year in, in those. So I did, I had a, you know, I had a decent amount to spend. So I was like, right, well, I'm here and I'm going to spend it. <laughs> 
Um, but I did make good choices and Mandy and, well, actually everyone, Rachel, Mandy, um, Catherine, they were all really good at, you know, helping me decide what I needed. So yeah, I have got a cup of tea with me because as I said, after two weeks, uh, two weeks, <laughs> it wasn't two weeks, it was two days, two, wait, two days of non-stop chatting and saying hi and literally squealing every time I saw someone that I knew. Um, my throat is a little bit sore, so apologies, because I know some people don't mind it when I drink when my videos and some people are like, what is she doing? But apologies if I do have to have a sip from my tea every now and again. So yeah, so I will start with the kind of like more haberdashery things and then we'll go on to the patterns and then we'll do the fabric. So um, one of the things that was definitely on my list and I really need to, I've one of the first stores that we went to as well was Little Rosy Cheeks. And um, I love using these fabric glue pens. Um, and I bought, I've, I've, had, I've had one, I bought one a couple of years, when I first started sewing really. And I normally just buy these little refills. But um, even though I've, I've refilled it so many times now, the actual, the actual pen has gone a bit What's the word? Rachel used a great word, like gloopy or gunk. I can't remember what word it was that she used, but yeah, not very nice. <laughs> so I decided to treat myself to a brand new actual pen as well. So, but these are absolutely fabulous. If you are a bag maker, I would say they're invaluable. Like, you know, they are, I use these for bag making all the time, but they're also great for dressmaking too. I use them for holding down pleats. I use them for holding down zips. I use them for, I use it for everything really, if I can, if I can get away with it. It doesn't gunk up your machine. Um, you press it to set it um, and it washes out. So it's, it's you know, it holds your, holds everything in place while you're sewing, but then it's all, it's all gone. So love those. So that was the first thing I got. And then um, labels were on my allowed list because um, I do love a label and I use quite a few labels, but I keep my labels in a, um, a little pouch that I've made with a vinyl front so I can see. And I've just, I've just noticed that they were really, really depleting. I, didn't, I don't, didn't have very many to choose from when I was kind of going in and choosing. So um, I thought, yeah, labels are definitely on my, on my list. So I got these lovely labels and there are long ones that say handmade and then the lovely little ones. I'm not, I'm not going to get everything out and show in real detail because again, you might be here all day and, and nobody wants that, do they? So, and then these ones, you do you because you do you. And I think they are fabulous. And then these ones are the new ones. And I think and everyone that I met went, oh yeah, I got those. So these say, swing it, shake it, move it, made it. And uh, yeah, and there was lots of dancing, singing going on while those were being purchased, which was, you know, all good fun. And then got one of these, which was just at absolutely fabulous and um yeah and it was just it was just so nice again it was just so nice to see everyone and while I was there the same um store uh, well next to Little Rosy Cheeks was the lovely Jen for Generates and I treated myself to a hot hammer because I've been wanting one of these for so long I ha I did I did purchase myself an alternative um but it it's metal and although it is grey and it does give me a lovely crisp line when I use it but I burn myself on it and it's like what are you doing Sam? <laughs> so this one I'm hoping not to burn myself on and um and yeah but uh yeah we'll see I'll let you know how I get on with that because um I'm, I'm interested to see how much difference it's going to make um but I got the inches one because I'm an inches girl, but you can also get it in centimetres. Um, but yeah, I got the inches one because that's how I work, but you can get centimetres one if you prefer that. And then on the same kind of upper level, 
was Ethel and Joan. Now, you probably guys all know this, but I found out something that I didn't know about Ethel and Joan. And the um, the lovely lady that runs it, and I'm, I'm really rubbish with names. I forget everybody's names. I remember like 10 minutes later, after I've been talking about them, and I go, oh yeah, so-and-so. Anywho, so she named the company after her two grandmas, Ethel and Joan. My grandma's called Joan as well, and just really kind of like, oh. <laughs> See, if I had a button company, mine would be Hilda and Joan. <laughs> Um, and grandmas give you sweets. So when you buy something, she popped a little packet of sweets in. They were Palmer Violets. So Simon had those last night and he was very appreciative. But I did, and honestly, I could have gone absolutely mad, Ethel and Joan, but I didn't because I, didn't, I don't, didn't really need any buttons. But I did buy some. And the reason I bought some was, well, who could resist these? They're cloud buttons and they're in this lovely like black resin with the gold flex in if you like. And I just think they're a bit dark and moody, which I love. Um, and they're a bit different. And obviously because I wear and love lots of things with stars and moons and suns and celestial things in, you know, when you're a stargazer, clouds are your nemesis, you see, because you don't want, you know, you don't want clouds when you're trying to see clear skies and stars. So I thought there was something quite, I don't know, I just thought I wanted to embrace the clouds on my makes. Does that sound silly? Maybe that sounds silly, but to me, it was like, I just want to love the clouds and they're cute. I did show them to Adam afterwards and he was like, yeah, but what, but what size buttonhole do you do? And I was like, that's, you know, that's another, another life Sam's, <laughs> another day Sam's problem. It's not a problem for now. <laughs> so if anyone knows what I need to do, I mean, I guess I just measure the largest bit and give it that bit, that, that big. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. So I'll figure that out. <laughs> But I loved them. And then I went to the lovely Specker Seamstress um, because I just needed to do some topping up because I use her bias binding. <laughs> I love that in the Stitch Festival as well. You, it's the only place in the world that you can go around showing people your bias binding. <laughs> so yeah, and I use it all the time. This is the Sagebrush top, by the way. Um, that I'm wearing because people will ask. Um, this is one of the first ones that I made, so I hadn't started taking out the poofiness of the sleeves. When I make them now, I, I take a bit of poofiness out, but you know, I'm just living the poof today. Um, so yeah, so I did a top up of my by finding. I got some stars. Would it be me? I got this one because I love this one because I recently used the last of this one up, which is it's what's on the inside that counts. And I love that. And then again, I used up the last of this recently as well, which is the planets one. So I've just topped up. I do um, subscribe to their Bias Tape subscription club and also their new labels club. They're gonna come soon, which is very exciting. I didn't actually buy any labels from them, but I think it was in the, you know, in the kind of, because I knew I'm getting the their new labels. I didn't, but. And then, I bought these lovely, now this was from Sister Mintaka. Now I did have a little look at her fabrics, um, but I, I, I don't know, I like them all. <laughs> and I found it really difficult to decide which ones I liked the most. Um, and yeah, I just found it, I don't know, I did find it a bit overwhelming. So I thought, right, I'm gonna get myself some I'm going to get myself some labels because I do really want those. And I, I, I wanted to support everybody um, and, and then maybe kind of go back and have a look. But then when I did go back and have a look, one of the fabrics I did really like had sold out. But yeah, so I did get a bit. And I know that happened to Rachel, French Seams Rachel as well. I know that she, this is the thing. It's really difficult, isn't it? When you, you know, you have a fabric and you just think, I should just buy it when I see it. I've got you, I've got a funny story about that a bit later as well. So stay tuned. So I bought these, which are made by me, and 
because you know i like to have pink but i know i don't really like wearing pink so i can just have a bit of pink on my label and then these ones which i adore these ones they just say stitch with love but i really i think i like the long rectangle shirt i think i that's that's the style that i like and the reason that I like it is that if you if you do like me and on occasions when you're doing bits around the neckline, you, you might kind of get a little nick or a little, you know, little pucker or a nip on your overlocker or something like that. This covers it up. <laughs> These are amazing. It's like mistake blankets. Fabulous. So I love those ones. <laughs> yeah, little mistake blankets. So uh, don't know. We're friends. You're not going to tell anyone about my... A secret mistake blanket. So, and then I've got two other packets of labels here, but I didn't buy these at the show. So, as I said, my lovely friend Mandy, make it so Mandy, um, she had gone to a little sewing day with um, the lovely bees, and it was Vicky from the sewing bee, and I believe it was Jill from the sewing bee, the one arm sewist as well. Um, she went for a sewing day with them and I have ordered a box of fabric and bits and pieces from Vicky, but I know that her labels had come out and she was bringing them there and I, I hadn't realised that she was also bringing them to the Stitch Festival. So I said, to, I said to Mandy, oh, actually, I'd really like a packet of her blue ones and a packet of her red ones. So she did bring them with her. But I did equally, I did meet Vicky I met her on the Friday and the Saturday, actually. We had a lovely chat on the Friday and then I met, kind of met her again on the Saturday because I'd forgotten to have a photo. I'm really sorry about my lack of photos. <laughs> I might be able to find some photos that other people have taken of me, but I was just having the best time ever. That Even though I said I'm going to be much better at vlogging today, I'm go and I have, you know, I've taken some footage and you will see a lot of that at the end. But, yeah... I was a bit rubbish at taking photos. Anyway, I got these, which are just fabulous. And they, um, and it basically says sewers, and then there's a little bee sewing. So sewers be sewing, which I think is cool. And then these ones, which I love, and it just says, you've got this. And they are the, what Vicky made stickers. Stickers? Labels. So yeah. Definitely a cup of tea time. <laughs> My voice is going, but I'm going to keep going. So um, then I, on some more kind of hardware, bag hardware, we found purple stitches. Now they're a bit great. And I managed to get some of these individual zip charms on the actual zipper pulls that you can use on zip zip by the meter or zip on a roll or whatever. People call it different things in different countries, don't they? But I got two gold ones and I got two silver ones because I find it really hard. I managed to find the cutout stars, but I find it quite hard to find the solid star ones. So I was really pleased that they had them. And actually, I am kicking myself a little bit that I didn't get some more, but I'm sure they've got an online store and I can do that in a time, so. And then I bought these gorgeous zips, some stripy zips, because I'm really enjoying my bag making at the moment. So I just wanted to kind of top up, top up that. And then this, this was an absolute find. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, which is the some one inch webbing. Look at that, look how amazing that is. I just think it's beautiful. So I can see that on, on a, Harrelson bag coming soon or something similar and then the other thing that I did on the bag making front was I went to see the lovely Emma at Studio 77 and I was having a little bit of a technical um you probably don't need to know this but I've got a new phone <laughs> um because my old phone just wasn't keeping up with everything that I do on it so I got myself a new phone um, and what I hadn't realised is that even though I transferred, I transferred all of my apps, I transferred everything over it. And, you know, Simon is a phone expert, so I didn't do it. He did it all for me. But um, with all of your banking stuff, you have to do it separately. And I hadn't appreciated that. So 
Um, luckily, <laughs> I had cash and I had my cards, but I, I was struggling with doing any, any kind of payments that I needed to have authorised over my phone. So that was a bit frustrating, <laughs> I have to say. So I spoke to lovely Emma about signing up for the box and she said, yeah, sure, sure. Tried to do it at the show, it wasn't working. So I have signed up this morning when I was back at home and I could deal with all my security things. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good thing that banks do that because, you know, it's good to be secure, but yeah, I was a bit frustrated. But anywho, so I am signed up. So look, watch this space for an unboxing in, I think the box comes in April. So that's exciting. Um, and because I signed up, or because I promised that I would sign up and I have, um, she did give me a little, some little labels and they say, hello summer. And they've got little pineapples on. So I may share these with my lovely friend, Catherine from Soberton Makery because she likes a pineapple and they're pink and they're summery and they just remind me of her. And I can just see her popping one of these in one of her lovely Libby blouses. So she was an absolute star, by the way. I mean, as I said, I'm trying not to talk too much about individual stories and I'll, I'll you know, I'll need to let you know kind of the inside gossip on a different video, but she had made her whole entire outfit in a week. <laughs> So she'd made a beautiful jacket, pop some pictures up, she made a beautiful jacket, she'd made the Thea trousers, she'd made, uh, I want to say the Tilda blouse, might not have been the Tilda blouse, apologies, I'm a bit rubbish. Yeah, and then her tamarack jacket and, and a bag as well. I mean, like, she is amazing. She is really amazing. So yeah, so I, <laughs> I digress. Got some labels and then, I mean, this is really noisy packaging and I'm sure it's very environmentally friendly which is why it's really noisy so apologies but I also got this little lock and that it's like a little flower lock um which will be nice to pop on a bag and then oh I'd forgotten about these so a couple of other things that I got was um Mandy bought me a few little presents which was quite sweet so I got these little Spaceman and Space Rocket pins, which I'm going to put on my pin board. Um, a Spaceman pen, and which I'll pop a picture up, up, and a Spaceman and Planets rubber. I mean, she knows me so well. So that was really cool. That was really cool. <laughs> So yeah, so that's all my haberdashery and I realise that I'm already at half an hour, so I'm going to rattle through. The next thing, I'll pop that over there, the next thing are patterns. So I treated myself to a few patterns. Now I don't normally buy paper patterns, I have to say I tend to do PDFs, um, but I do quite like having some paper patterns um so i just thought do you know what they were doing some good deals on the day in the show so i thought i'd just go for it so the first patterns were the emporia patterns and i got this one which is the zoe dress which i believe is quite a new one um there's the line drawings for you on the back now the reason that i bought this was there was a lady on the stall that was wearing it now this is very floral hers was just plain it was denim and she just had some really gorgeous red buttons on with it and it's got some really nice pleating detail in the front. Now, I'm not sure about the pleating detail for me because I don't know whether I need that in my life. Um, but she assured me that I could leave that out and I could just kind of, you know, do, you know, kind of, I didn't have to put those in. I could make it smaller size or I could, you know, can kind of change it around. But I think I'm just going to go for it. Um, and yeah, and I just thought it was a really lovely kind of summery, shirt dress vibe it would be great for work it's not too fabric hungry and yeah so that was the first one and then the second one was this gorgeous penelope dress now the reason i bought this was on the saturday we went to watch the um instagram makers catwalk and a lot of them were wear well not a lot of them fove was wearing this and um, a couple of other people that I saw wearing this and 
It just looked absolutely stunning and it looks stunningly different on everybody as well, which I, I love that when a dress can do that. I think that's a sign that it's a good dress. So I thought, yeah, now this one is a bit hungry, uh, fabric hungry. So I will have to think quite carefully about what fabric I make that with. Um, but, you know, the good news is I bought quite a lot of fabric, <laughs> so we should be fine. And then the last pattern from them is this one, which is the Tony shirt. And so this one I bought to make a shirt for my lovely Simon. Um, and I and when I was showing Simon this last night, my son said, oh, I, I quite like a short sleeve shirt like that, which surprised me because I didn't think that that would be his thing. But yeah, so it looks like it will be a good pattern because I'll be able to make and it's signed by Tony, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so. I'm looking forward to making that that shirt. That should be quite good fun. And then um, on the Saturday, because Mandy had been very clever and she'd done lots of pre-orders of the Sew so Over It patterns and I hadn't been that clever. Um, and I wasn't going to buy any any Sew Over It patterns because again, like I said, I kind of quite like buying them PDF, but I, I love Catherine's Libby shirt and for me, if you love the Donny shirt, which I do, I love the Donny shirt. The only thing for me with the Donny shirt is that I wish it had buttons. I wish I could open it at the front. Um, now, a lot of people love the Donny shirt because you can put it on over your head. But I always like, I love it, but I kind of wish it had buttons. Now, for me, the Libby shirt, I've, I've only got an envelope to show you. But I'll, um, I'll see if I can grab the bits from inside. The Libby shirt is the Donny shirt with buttons, basically. The Donny shirt is Friday Pattern Company, by the way, and this one is so, the Libby shirt is so over it. But it's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's not too fabric hungry either. I think it says on the, um, I think when I had a look at my size last night, it said 1.3 or 1.4. So yeah, pretty good for a shirt. So I bought the Libby shirt and then I bought the Viola dress and blouse as well. And I have to say, this is one that I've been looking at on and off, but I, I wasn't a hundred percent sure on it. And then I saw the sample that they had made up and I was like, yeah, that is, that is what I thought it was. And that is something that I will quite like. So I think this looks like quite a meaty make for me, um, but you know, I like a challenge. So that should be, that should be fun. I may do the blouse first and then go on to do the dress, you know, just to check the fit and stuff, or I might just go for it. Cause you know me, I'll just go for it. And then the last two patterns that I bought was the Jessica dress from Sew Me Something because I've been eyeing up this, again, I've been eyeing up the pan for a while. I think it looks quite a nice pan and they had a deal on it at the show. So I was like, it's a sign. And then the lovely Emma again on the Cordelia dress. And the reason I bought this is it's a little wrap, but it's a Jersey dress. And um, I'm quite into Jersey dresses at the moment. But um, I don't, I like jersey dresses with a little bit of something, you know, not just, not, ju not we're not talking about jumper dresses and things, just like, you know, something with a little bit of something. And I thought that was really nice. And I was chatting to Emma, uh, me and Emma worked together at Karen and Rose. So, you know, I thought if I, if I get stuck, I know, I know someone that can help me. So I feel, I felt quite safe buying those patterns because yeah, I know that if I do, if I do get worried, I can just go and go and see Emma and say, hey, do you fancy a little Monday sews? <laughs> and she'll say yes. <laughs> so that was cool. Right, on to the fabric. Folks, are you ready? I, I need to move my bags over the other way. Oh, because I was a VIP, I got a VIP tote bag, which came in very handy because I did not bring enough bags for the amount of fabric that I bought. So that was very handy. So I, the first fabric that I'll show you was, I bought from Sew Me Something. Um, 
and with the lovely Emma. And there's a little bit of a story to this one because I bought this fabric because I've actually bought this fabric before. It's a Lady McElroy fabric. I absolutely adore it. And I bought it very early on in my sewing adventures um, when I wasn't very experienced in sewing. And I just went for it. It's like, you know, it's, it's a good fabric. I don't care. Well, we're just going to go for it. But I did, I didn't do my best job on it. I'm going to be really honest. And then I ended up having to go in again and I changed it. And it now is a beautiful dress that I do wear. But I just want a second go at it because what I ended up with was not the vision that I had at the beginning. And I'd really, really want to have a go at that. So it is this gorgeous fabric now um and it is definitely a shirt dress that I want out of it and that was what I wanted to do to begin with but I kind of I I was going in to do the shirt dress then I chickened out and yeah and it just ended up not being what I wanted to do and I ended up with a halter neck dress which was lovely but not what I really had envisaged um and that's what I want so yeah, I got three metres of that, so that should be enough for any of the shirt dresses that I want to make. Yeah, just love it. So that's that's very exciting. And I'm really looking forward to kind of giving myself a second chance at it as well, because, you know, that's the thing. You know, when, we, when we're sewing, sometimes things go wrong, and, and that's okay, because it's just fabric, so you can buy some more and have a second go and try again. It's, you know... It is what it is. So, oh, let me just show you this one before I go on to the Bornella fabrics. So this one, oh my goodness, I can't remember where I bought this one. So I might need to pop it down below when I, when I text Mandy and ask her where I got this one from because I can't, it might have been Monroe's fabrics, I can't remember. But it's this gorgeous ponte in this lovely green colour because um, I've bought some nice pontes recently, um, but I just love this colour. Um, and I want to make myself some Derwent trousers from the Sewing With Knits book, the Wendy Ward one, um, because I love those trousers. I find them so comfortable for work. And I think in this colour, they'll go with a lot of other things that I wear as well. So I thought, yeah. It was a good price and I thought I'll have me I'll have me some of that um yeah so I think did I get two meters I think I got two meters of that so that was lovely and then also at sew me something I got this lovely ribbing and I got it to go with this fabric that I bought at the same place where I bought the other so can you see how well that goes? Now, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make with this. It will probably end up being, I don't know, a beer top or some kind of nice jersey top. But I just love those. And you know me. I like my blacks and my greys. And <laughs> I love all the colours, but sometimes I just feel safe in these colours. So, yeah, but it made me feel safe. And this was my first fabric purchase as well. And so I knew I was going to buy a safe fabric first because that's what I always do. So that was that. And then let me talk to you about Bornella fabrics. So I went, I did have a little look on the Friday and, you know, I fell in love, but I was like, no. There's lots of other fabrics to look at, Sam. I'll look at all of the others. And then on Saturday, when I went back, my just something happened. Something crazy happened. My defences just went down and I was like, I'm going to have all of the fabrics. <laughs> and I liked a lot of fabrics. And so I just bought a lot. <laughs> the first one is this one, which is a gorgeous fleece backed French terry with these lovely lady faces on um, and I just love the colour. I was a little bit worried it was a bit animal printy because I'm not really into that animal print, print but I love faces and I love the colour. Um, I originally was I wanted to make a hoodie with it but she only had 1.3 metres left of it 
that's all she had. So I was like, oh, it's fine. That'll make um, Jackson pull over just about as long as I use ribbing and stuff. Um, and it'll just be a nice kind of comfy, cozy, casual jumper for at home because I just love the colour. So I thought that was beautiful. And then I'm really into linen at the moment. I love the linens um, and I wanted to get myself some really nice linens um, for kind of shift dresses, trousers, summer, summer bottoms, summer tops, summer, you know, and oh. now this isn't my colour. These aren't my colours and I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind that these are not my colours because I just love this fabric and this fabric brings me joy and wearing it will bring me joy because I love the fabric. So, um, so yeah, so I thought that was really, really, oh, and oh, again, I wish you could feel this linen. It is absolutely stunning. It's a lovely weight to it. Um, and I am hoping that I will be able to get a, some kind of dress and a top out of this because I think I got two and a half or maybe I got three meters of this or it might be trousers and a top um that I, I won't wear together but that you know I can wear so yeah gorgeous absolutely love that and then another linen but this one is a viscose linen which is a bit more my colors um just love it. Do you love it? I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, and I want to make some kind of like floaty palazzo pants. Um, but then the more I've thought about it, I don't know whether I want it to be a dress. So I'm not 100% sure about this yet, but I've got plenty. So I can definitely take, take my time and, and decide. But I absolutely love, love, love this fabric. So, yeah. <laughs> and then this one just reminds me of my youth. I've, I've definitely, I've definitely had a top in this design when I was younger. And, oh my goodness. Look at that. It's, it's a viscose, it's, it's beautiful quality. I think that's why I love I love Bonella fabrics. The quality of their fabrics are always like spot on. Um, you just can't go wrong. And it's just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Actually, maybe it's not, maybe it's a, I'm not quite sure what the composition is. I will find out, but it, it's gorgeous. It's just lovely. And it's just going to be a nice kind of floaty, summery top i think i got a meter and a half of this one again she didn't have very much one of this one left so i went for a meter and a half but it was definitely a top in mind rather than a dress for that one and then the last fabric i got was this fabric because i adore it i absolutely adore it um, I have got some plans for this, but I'm not going to share them with you now because I met up with the lovely Claire. Um, oh, is she re loves red so? Red loves so. I'm going to put it down below. I'm really sorry, Claire. <laughs> I'm rubbish at remembering people's Instagram handles. And, um, and we have, she has bought this fabric as well. And I think we have kind of decided that we might do a bit of a collaboration. So watch this space. Um, and we're going to do a bit of a same fabric, different pattern to, you know, same fabric, two ways collaboration. So watch this space. If you like this fabric and you want to see what I'm going to do with it, you know, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So, yeah. So that was about it really for what I bought at the show. I have got one more fabric to show you and it is this lovely blue linen now this was um mandy bought this to the show for me because and i thought i'd just show you today because um yeah while while i'm showing you all the fabrics i thought i'd just let you know and this was actually from legend textiles because um when i went on to look online whether they had they they said they didn't have enough of what i wanted i wanted three meters um 
But Mandy said, oh, well, I'm going, so I'll have a look in the, the shop. And, and lo and behold, they had it. So, um, so yeah, I've got this because I want to make myself some trousers for work. And navy is a great colour for me to have for, um, for work because all of my other tops will go with it. So, yeah, so that was, a, that was my last purchase, but it wasn't really a Stitch Festival purchase. It was just a cheeky, cheeky extra. So before I go, I just want to talk to you a little bit about highlights for me. So obviously, you know, meeting Rachel, French scenes in the real person, in the real flesh was like one of the biggest highlights because, oh my goodness, that lady is an absolute goddess. <laughs> you know, I was... I saw like we, we would range to meet and I was waiting, I was waiting for her trying to see which direction she, and this just kind of complete goddess came galloping towards me and oh, she's just so lovely and so lovely and her sister is so lovely and yeah oh she just it was just so nice to have a proper kind of catch up and we ended up pretty much spending the two days together which was brilliant and I know and we we're making plans and you know it was just yeah that was amazing that was just so lovely and again the same on the Friday with Catherine and Catherine's mum and having that time it was quite sad I felt quite sad that Catherine wasn't staying on Saturday as well it's, it's like anything isn't it it just felt like the you, you know the time was gone too soon so yeah that was it was really lovely and um and yeah and oh I'm, yeah caught up with the northern soul sisters which was absolutely fabulous oh they are gorgeous ladies so lovely i mean i chat a bit to tamlin anyway so it was just really nice to give her a squeeze and see how she was but it was just yeah and in fact the northern soul sisters they did have a little sneak peek of what i bought because we caught them in the um we were in the prosecco bar and and they uh so i gave them a little sneaky peek of what i bought so i hope uh, yeah <laughs> that was just so cool <laughs> so that was nice but one of my highlights was one of my lovely subscribers, another Mandy. <laughs> so Mandy Wickham, you know who you are. <laughs> she sent me a piece of fabric in the post, 70 centimetres of fabric, um, because she knew that I would love it. And I absolutely did. And I wore it at the show. I wore what I'd made. So in the end, I because I wanted to use every last scrap of the fabric, I'm, I am... Um, I went a bit out of my comfort zone and I self-drafted myself a top. Now, before you go crazy, it was very simple, um, but it, you know, yeah. And I just made myself a really simple shell top. And then when I cut out all the pieces, um, to save on the fabric, I put bias binding in. Um, and it was the Becky, Se Becky? Spe Specky Seamstress um, bias binding. And, um, and yeah, but I had a little piece that was left out of the middle because when I, I folded my fabric into the middle so that I could get the back and the front out of it and I had to have a little bit of like, you know, um, so I could um, cover the sleeves as well with bias binding. Um, but I just had this little piece in the middle left over and I just didn't want to waste it. So in my bag that I took to the Stitch Festival, I used... The little piece that I had, can you see, in the lining and the lady with the telescope is actually looking at the stars which I just think is fabulous. So, but I was so proud of my make but I bumped into Mandy at the Stitch Festival and she was wearing her gorgeous Donny shirt in the same fabric. I will pop a picture up. So lovely. It was just so lovely and um, yeah just felt really special because you know as I said you guys are the reason that I do this so it was just really nice I think that was was definitely definitely up there with one of the highlights of the show um yeah another highlight was um when I bumped into Vicky sewing bee Vicky um and 
and she she told me that she watches my vlogs. Oh. Well, that made my day too. <laughs> so, yeah, it was just, it was fabulous. It was fabulous. I enjoyed every second of it. So, yeah, it was a really good day. And as I said, if you get to go, do it. And, and say hi to people, because honestly, it's just so nice. What a lovely way to meet so many gorgeous people. So guys, I think I've got to 50 minutes and I'm really sorry if I've kept you for a really long time, um, but I just had a lot to do. I, I want to thank everybody again. I want to, obviously I want to thank Mandy. I want to thank, um, I want to thank Rachel. I want to thank Catherine. I want to thank, oh, I mean, I, I know that I've missed so many people out and I also want to, you know, all of you know who you are. You were all absolutely wonderful. Um, yeah. So thank you for a wonderful, wonderful couple of days. So don't forget to sparkle folks and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.